Racial profiling is unjust, humiliating, and degrading. Racial profiling in law enforcement is unconstitutional, and it doesn't work. In July 2009, Harvard professor Henry Louis Gates was arrested for breaking into his own home. That August, Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan was questioned and detained at Newark Airport for nearly two hours because his name sounded Muslim. If racial profiling can wrongly target professors and superstars, it can happen to anyone. Racial profiling, even in the name of national security, has never been shown to make us safer. In 1995, the nation was shaken by the horrific Oklahoma City bombing. Timothy McVeigh evaded law enforcement officers while they searched for Arabs. After 9-11, while airport security focused on people of Middle Eastern descent, a white college student smuggled knives, box cutters, bleach, and more onto at least six planes. It took the TSA more than a month to find the hidden items. And today, as immigration enforcement is left more and more to state and local police, there is every sign that the use of racial profiling is a growing problem. How do you react to that? Well, you know, uh, they call you KKK. They didn't. They, I think it's an uh, honor, right? I, I wrote from the it means we're doing something. It, just all the right people yeah, are doing it. Means it. we're doing it. Racial profiling not only violates our constitutional and human rights, it distracts law enforcement from real suspects, which puts all of us at risk. It's time to face the facts and have an open dialogue in the community. It's time to face the truth. 